Yeah, yeah, I could definitely use, could definitely use some sleep. Definitely use some more sleep. You got a Rain Man, uh, Rain Man little thing going on now. No man, definitely, definitely sleep. Definitely, definitely sleep. Yep, sleep. Yep, yep. Definitely use some sleep. Definitely use. Yeah. Go to Kmart. Get some sleep. Got a nap. Gonna go to nap. Gonna nap. <laughs> oh god! Now we're gonna have everybody pissed at us because we made fun of a retard. Because we made fun of, of someone who's like severely autistic. That yeah. is what he had, right? Uh, I, he, he was an idiot savant, so yeah, I think he yeah. was. <laughs> Whoops. You know, oh. though, I straight up, I loved that movie. Like, I really, really did. It's a really great movie. Yeah. Um, I was thinking to myself, uh, this CD Projekt Red shit that's recently happened. And then I was like, oh, wait, we talked about that last week. And then I was thinking, like, wait, did we? And I realized, no, we fucking didn't. It's just the same goddamn story every goddamn week. Somebody says something, and then a bunch of people get fucking offended. <sighs> Wait, what's going on? What's CD Projekt Red and people getting offended? <laughs> oh, you didn't hear about this? Uh, I mean... The tweet I, they I, made. No. I may, I oh, okay. did, but yeah, I can't we'll remember the tweet. Podcast. Well, the, it's, it's already it's recorded. Story. So how y'all doing oh, today? Okay. Hey, we're on the Godly Geeks. I'm Joe. I'm Luke. That's Joe. Yeah. Like I said... Like Over I said, each other. yeah, we we're do really things. tired, dude. We are. It's gonna be one of those podcasts. Not to mention that um, there's always there's there's gonna be that little bit of a delay because we're doing this over the internet and yeah, because <clears throat> we still don't have a mixer board because yeah. we still don't have the money to buy one because it costs money and we're and broke money. and money's you know a thing. Yeah, money money is a thing we don't have a lot of. <laughs> which i'm sure is something a lot of you a lot of our listeners can relate to yeah it's frustrating it is but yeah the thing i was talking about yes so that's what we're gonna last, start with we're gonna talk last, about talk about the same situation we talk about all the fucking time because it keeps happening so last week or so uh cd project red posted a tweet uh response to someone and I don't even remember what the original tweet was, but it doesn't matter because their response was, uh, don't assume their gender. And Twitter exploded with people who were offended or mock offended or whatever you want to call it. I mean, they, I would hope it's mock offended. That they were they had the gall to make a joke about like different sexualities, even though they exist. And I, I don't I don't understand because it's not even i mean i get it's a joke and if you are offended by it you know it, it you're a trans person who does not like that it's okay you can be offended but the whole idea that well they have to apologize and have to take this away which of course cd project red did unfortunately uh they deleted the tweet and apologized and then people which uh, of course is the wrong reaction because then people go well you're not really sorry and give them shit for the apology and claim yeah. that it was um, victim blaming and all that. It's just, it's the same circle that happens over and over again. And and, and, and see, this is this is why this, this exact kind of a situation where people are forced to apologize for that kind of stuff. Um, <clears throat> that's why I've, I've just decided that whatever the fuck I say, I will own up to, but yeah. I'm not going to apologize for it. I'm not going to yeah. apologize for exercising my right to free speech. Now, I and, – and I'm one of those people, though, where I understand that my right to free speech, that I have free speech, doesn't mean I'm protected against, you know, um, criticism of it. I'm not protected against that. Exactly. I understand that. But I'm not going to let you bully me into apologize for something that hurt your feelings. It's like yeah. that – it's like that – it's like that picture um, of the Viking where he says, I've offended you. What is it like to be so weak that mere words hurt your feelings? You know, like that's that's how exactly. I feel about it. I, I don't I don't like it's something where I don't I don't think it's the greatest phrase anymore, but it still sticks and stones very much in this in this scenario. Oh, I mean, it absolutely never... is. Yeah. Like like sticks and stones can break your bones, but words can not hurt you unless you're a bitch. You know, yeah. like, let's yeah. be honest I mean, here. <laughs> it's it was just so like, why? What? What? Really? That is this big of a deal that you're just complete. Uh, I don't, I don't get it. And but it's it's the whole thing again. I've said it before. Twitter, Twitter's over. They just need to stop. There's a nice go of it. 
but let's just shut it down. <laughs> no, I, I still can't agree with that. I like Twitter too much. Besides, uh, Twitter is where we get down. most of our listeners. So I know, but shut it all down. No, we can't do that, Luke. <laughs> we got to get people. They got to listen to us. We got to get the money. Social media was a mistake. <laughs> I will agree with that. Yeah, social media was indeed a mistake. Oh, man. Facebook is a mistake. Yeah, I mean, I don't agree with all of that. But yeah, I think uh, there's just it's too much. I'm not one of those people that's like, oh, this whole generation has just got their head in their phone and they never talk to people and never connect. No, there's there's a lot of this generation that connects with hell of a lot more people than they ever would have. I mean, yeah, I've established more friendships over the Internet than I have in person. You yeah, know, like, there's, there's a lot of people that is their lifeline. That if yeah. they didn't have that, they wouldn't they probably wouldn't have many friends at all. Right. I don't I don't see a problem in that. I don't see this theory that in 20 years or in 10 years that no one will know how to do anything because everyone's been on their phone. Uh, no, I, if they don't know how to do anything, it's because they're fucking stupid. <laughs> Basically, yeah. I mean, <laughs> when you've got like something like YouTube where you can learn how to literally do anything with video descriptions and video walkthroughs and guides and shit, like, yeah. no, come on, bullshit. Don't, don't say, oh, nobody knows how to do anything because they're on their phone all the time. Well, you can learn to do a lot of things. Yeah, exactly. Like, Useful things, too. Yeah, right? Oh. Just, it's, it's, I don't know. It's just really frustrating. Uh, and for the unfortunate side effects of it with, like, the James Gunn thing and then now the CD Projekt Red thing, which is not ultimately not going to be, a, like, a big deal for CD Projekt Red. I, I really wish they would have been, uh, like, they would have been like, yeah, uh, it's a joke. Get Sorry if you, you know, if you're offended, you know, that's on you. Basically. It's not, uh, you know, they didn't set out to actively go and like, ha ha, I hurt you. It's not, it's uh, Yeah, it's I mean, intent is a huge, huge, huge deal. Like, I think, yeah. I, and, you know, it goes back to that discussion about context where intent and context, I think, are way more important than what's actually being said. But everyone mm -hmm. only wants to pay to what's actually being said because they all want to play that victim card. It's like, come yeah. on, can we just not? Can can series can we seriously just not? Yeah. Can we can we um, grow backbones and can we understand and realize that not everything has to be offensive? And you know, and you don't have if you are offended, you don't have to. Add, we have no obligation to unoffend you. We have no obligation to like try and make it better. Yeah, no, I mean, I, I, I kind just, of agree it, with, like, you know, Louis C.K. when he says, I like offending people because I like making them think, you know? I like Exactly. Like, when I sit there and I offend you, I just made you think about something, which that's the thing we all need to start doing more often, which if you thought more, you'd be less offended. Yeah, to have a sense of humor. It would be great. I uh, I was watching – I did not – I well, I don't Twitter, and I definitely didn't Twitter back years and years ago. Right. Uh, I dubs of all people put out a video uh about like this basically the same subject and he was going to the james gunn stuff for examples and i didn't know that a lot of those tweets were they he had retweet or rt in front of him that was like a whole big thing back then on twitter yeah where you would put rt quote someone in, or i mean tag someone and say you know some horrible shit and it was like look at what they said it's like haha you know i i said you said this thing it's like Oh, OK, I get it. It's it's all a joke. It's not even just he's saying something horrible. Isn't that edgy funny? It's ha. Ah, look at my what my friend said. Isn't he horrible? Yeah, I, there was even more context to it that I didn't even know that made me go. Oh, wow. Why are people so fucking offended by this? You assholes. I guess I, I, I really do feel like we're, we're getting to a point where, you know, we, we're just coming up, like the generation around me and yeah. people of my own generation too because we're you know i'm technically a millennial and the millennials coming after us or generation z or whatever all of yeah. these people we're doing a lot of good but then there's i can i can just look around and i see a lot of people around me that are like up in arms over really minor things and mm -hmm. ignoring the things that are important I see this as – there was a, a very – like I think it must have been made in the 50s, 60s. It's an old black and white video of uh, these two young guys and two older gentlemen. And I, I, I guess the context is the older guys, one of them's a cop. And they're talking to these two young kids that were doing something like um, 
either setting some shit on fire or doing something to protest. And they basically explain to these kids, they're like, look, we understand you're, you're pissed off. You're angry about this stuff. Um, and they're like, do you don't think we were too when we were your age? And they're like, and they're like, cause I guess the kids were like, you're just trying to stop us. They're like, no, we're trying to give you that. We're trying to tell you this isn't the way to go about it. Yeah. This you're, you, you know, you, you got to you, you're not old enough to learn to know everything. Right. And on top of you don't you don't always know even what you're like protesting against. There's this whole thing about, you know, take a little bit of time, think about what you're doing first. Mm-hmm. You know, he's saying don't stop. Always always question. You know, always go, you know, always fight for what you believe in, but take the time first to realize is what you are going to make a big deal over worth making a big fucking deal over yeah yeah i mean for sure i think it's really relevant today it's something that i think will always be relevant as long as there are people that are going to be upset about something anything it doesn't matter what that yeah every generation is going to be angry about something and try and change the wrongs of the generation before which is how it should be yeah no i mean i'm totally okay with that that's how it yeah that's that's how it's supposed to be we should always be trying to do a little better than the people who came before us Exactly. And I think right now it's unfortunate that we have I think we hit a point where there are a lot of people have, that have convinced themselves the thing that they're going to fix is to make it so nobody can ever be offended or, you know, oh, we're going to police speech and things like that, which is the wrong thing to do. Absolutely. Because yeah, that's, that's how we get Nazis. Caused, exactly. That's what's caused a huge backlash. It's what's caused the radical right to rise up and and believe that they have to have a voice now that they have to be like that. Honestly, that's where a lot of that comes from. They push so hard and push the PC and the think uh, the thought policing so much that you've just given these people a reason to like come up and, and like empowered them to have these super like out there views that are just fucking wrong. Yeah. All right, so let's get off our soapbox here for a minute and talk about <laughs> for a little bit. Let's talk about interesting things. Yeah. Um, hey, one thing that's kind of cool is the uh, the free DLC for um, uh, fuck Hollow Knight just dropped. Uh, it's called. Oh, nice. um, it's not. It was originally called Gods and Glory. Now I think it's called Godmaster, which sounds kind of cool. I guess there was something with a uh, copyright of uh, another property. Yeah, yeah, there was something about. Uh, I guess there was a uh, a previously, you know, previously used thing, and they were like, "All right, well, we got to change it." So I mean, <clears throat> that's fine. So yeah. I mean, I, I God Master sounds cooler anyway, in my opinion. Yeah, that's what I thought when I heard the change. Is like, yeah. And also, if you guys do not have it, it's also uh, uh, for until the twenty seventh, so until Monday, which this. is... Oh shit! Doesn't matter. This is going to release Tuesday. Um, All right. Well, hopefully you got it. <laughs> yeah, it's nine ninety on the Nintendo store right now. Uh, so okay. Whoops! You won't. You won't. It, it'll be too late. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah. <laughs> but yay! The game is What's great. What's that? Uh, what's that other one? The rogue like that's killing it right now. That just uh, released. Dead cells. Dead cells. Yeah. Yeah. Dead cells is good. Dead cells. Killing it. I need. Yeah. I I want to get it, but I just I don't spend the time on roguelikes. <laughs> um, not right now. I'm, right. I've got other games I'm trying to beat first, and then I'll probably pick up Dead Cells and pick back up Hollow Knight. I'm not even. I'm those. guys straight up. I'm not even playing games right now. I I haven't felt like playing games in so long. Yeah. Uh, I I don't even know what I'm doing or where I am in any game that I've I've played. Like <laughs> I had a hankering um a couple of days ago to play Skyrim, so I went and downloaded it and downloaded a bunch of mods. Didn't even install them before. It's like. Oh hey, we got D and D, and that was yeah. significantly more um, interesting. So yeah, I I forgot, but it is installed. So hey, if I want to play Skyrim, I can do it. Yay! Mm-hmm. I probably won't, but it's a, it's yeah, an idea. It's, it's like hey, I'll maybe get back on that. I was just I'm <clears> still <throat> surprised I was able to start playing uh, um, Deus Ex: Mankind Divided when yeah, I get- did because I had no idea where I was. Right. But I picked it up. I picked it up, and it only took me a couple minutes, and I figured out, basically got back into it. Luckily, I was early enough that uh, there really wasn't there really wasn't much that I had done that mm-hmm. I had to like go back and figure out because I hadn't started the whole like purpose of the game, which I'm convinced now is just to rob everything and everyone. <laughs> <laughs> because that's what you've been doing. 
yeah, you can break into everything, steal everything, like I rub the I rub the bank. Because uh, I mean, you are a super powerful cyborg who can turn invisible and like tase people and hide them behind couches and stuff, and they stay knocked out uh, the whole time because I guess technically the sections of the game are only taking place within a couple hours, even right. though I'm running out for in real time, like hours and hours and hours that I'm running around this city, just robbing the shit out of every apartment and everyone I can find. Like anytime I find a grate, like on the side of the building, like, Ooh, I can crawl in there. Well, I guess I'm robbing this place, crawl through, find any like good stuff. And I'm finding so many areas where I like, Oh, I bet I'm coming back here for something later. And then I do, and it's like, oh, yeah, I know how to get in there. I've already opened that door and hacked that computer. And <laughs> Luke is a total klepto. It is. It turned me into a klepto. And, I mean, it's not like I need most of what I'm stealing at this point. No, you don't need any of it. Yeah, like, you just... I've just got, I've just you're like, got it all. You know what? You're like, I just... I want it. Give it to me. Yeah. On top of that, it's the kind of game where, uh, similar to Dishonored, where you can choose how you want to play it if you want to play it stealth if you want to play at balls to the wall or shooting um if you want to be lethal non-lethal and uh at first at the very beginning it's i think you you might have the choice but you're fighting bad people you're fighting terrorists and then uh i know after that i fought a gang and that's before i picked the game back up but since then i have been going up against nothing but like people that i'm like well i don't really want to kill them so even though I'm equipped with an assault rifle, a submachine gun, a magnum, a pistol, I'm still like, but I don't want to kill this guy. It's a cop. He's not really he's kind of dirty, but it's not it's not where I want to go through and murder all of these security guards that are working nine to fives. So I'm just running around with my little taser tasing people, even though my inventory is full of deadly weapons. <laughs> yeah, but tase. Yeah, so I've been, uh, uh, and I haven't gone 100% non-lethal, because like I said, when I find gangsters, I'm like, oh, I can finally pull out my sniper rifle. Oh, I can finally use my silenced assault rifle. And those guys I pick off, like, and just have a blast doing that. But it's been so much of the game that I've been using non-lethal that I kind of, I started getting a little frustrated. <laughs> I know towards the end it takes a turn. Um, and I think I fight another terrorist organization soon, right? That's, that's the imp implications I'm getting. Right. But, uh, but for the most part, yeah, it's like, oh, well, I just want to break into this house and, you know, there's a dude there and I don't want to murder the guy. So I'm just going to go ahead and tase him and drag him into his bathroom and throw him in his bathtub. <laughs> I think that's, I, yeah, that, that's exciting. I love the physics engine in this game. It's, <laughs> I kept... Uh, I don't remember why these guys annoyed me at one part, but I had two, uh, I think one was a cop and one was a security guard or they were both cops or something and they were in my way. Right. And I think they had caught me once. So I reloaded my save and I was mad. So I go in there and I have not only a tase pistol, but a taser built into my arm that can lock onto two enemies at once. So I constantly will go into a room, lock onto two people, tase them both. Uh, and for some reason I was like, you guys, I'm, you know what? You motherfuckers are going in the tub. So I dragged them both through this house into the bathroom and tossed both of them into the bathtub <laughs> for no reason. And then just was throwing random boxes on top of them. No one's <laughs> going to find these guys. Yeah, uh, it's fun. I just, I was like, eh, whatever. I'm doing all this. So you might as <laughs> that well. such a blast. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of like um, Skyrim uh, uh, has that, that sort of ability to drag uh npcs when they're dead are knocked out yeah yeah in fact you got to do that for one dark brotherhood course you got to hide the body of one orc you kill mm -hmm. yeah that's it's that's very similar to this where if enemies find the knock they're knocked out allies they can revive them but what i found is that the paths they take as long as you don't go to the next area and then come back to the main hub area when you come back then everything's kind of reset except for the locks um, but the guards will be like the, the knocked out guards are gone unless it's somewhere where nobody has traveled. If nobody's traveled there, if nobody's like reset there, like the bank reset, but uh, like the apartments and stuff, nobody's going there. There's still knocked out people all over the place. Oh, nice. <laughs> I was laughing when I went through and I, uh, I had to go back to an apartment complex that I forgot existed on the map. So I go back for this one room that I go and talk to a dude. Didn't realize when I got there, I was like, oh, wait, I already looted this guy's house. 
So I went, I talked to him, uh, which he's yelling at me for walking into some guy's house uninvited, which right. I just really wanted to be like, dude, I already stole all your shit. Everything <laughs> you is out. gone. I was like, your safe is already open, man. <laughs> but uh, I leave and I'm like, oh, I'll go through the other apartments real quick. As I'm going through, I'm like looking through with my night vision or my uh, heat vision. And I'm like, wait, what? Why is there someone lying down? I go in. Oh, wait, I knocked this guy out. <laughs> nice. I forgot how much of a blast that series is. Yeah. Deus yeah, Ex, yeah. If, you, if you haven't played the two newer ones, I've never played the original Deus Ex. Maybe I'll go back to it one day, but apparently it's it's it, it's a very old game. It's kind of tough to go back and play from what I heard. Right. But Human Revolution and Mankind Divided are absolutely gorgeous games. Yeah, I have I have Human Revolution, so maybe uh maybe yeah. I'll give them a shot. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> um like I said, I love I love choices in games, and this game does give you those choices. It gives you the option to be lethal, non lethal, different endings and things like that. Right. Yeah, and I like playing my character kind of uh, neutral good, I guess. I don't take, I don't, I don't kill people that don't deserve it, basically. Like, I've killed gangsters and I've killed terrorists, but pretty much I have, I don't think I've ever killed anybody else. Yeah. I accidentally, playing yesterday, uh, I forgot I had my pistol, silenced pistol out instead of my silenced uh, stun gun. And I walked in on this guard, took aim at him, and popped him in the head and killed him. <laughs> and I was like, oh shit. <laughs> whoopsie my bad <laughs> but i reloaded anyway because there's another guard in there who immediately like uh got pissed off and set the alarm off oh yeah that's no the good. other thing i'm going for is no alarms right which is just which is lots of fun like um i haven't done it but you can if you hack into security terminals and you've gotten um the ability to you can turn off and on turrets right uh or their robotic sentries that will follow them around and stuff, or you can go in and turn off their friendly fire and their uh, or their uh, uh, identify friend or foe mode. Yeah, so they'll just go on killing sprees. Oh, nice. Yeah, and there are parts where it's tons of guards walking around with their robot, and their robot will just wipe them all out. <laughs> I did that and was like, oh shit! <laughs> I'm gonna. I didn't mean to. <laughs> Whoopsie. Yeah, yeah. It's Everything's like, uh, dead now. Yeah, that's a room of dead guys. That's uh, my fault. Sorry. My bad, guys. <laughs> my bad, everyone. Yeah, yeah. My bad. Uh, do, we're not terrorists, though. We're uh, peaceful. Oh, man. <laughs> we're freedom fighters. If firefighters fight fire and crime fighters fight crime. What do your freedom fighters fight? <laughs> Find freedoms. <laughs> we're fighting for your freedoms. I mean, would you call them four freedom fighters? I don't know. So they fight for freedom? But that's I mean, not that's what they call term. themselves. That's the thing. Like, that's not what they call that's themselves. True. They call themselves freedom fighters. Like, what? Damn, what game was it where they, there's two NPCs that have that conversation? I think it was Just Cause 2. I don't know. I couldn't tell you. I got one? I got the joke from George Carlin. Yeah. No, I, I know the joke, but I think one of those games or one of those open world Europe freedom fighter yada yada type games that there's 80 billion of one of those games there there's two guys who are talking and they're like yeah but are we are we sure we're doing the right thing he's like what are you talking about we're killing the oppressors we're fighting for the people he's like yeah we're freedom fighters right he's like yeah well firefighters fight fires but what do freedom fighters fight uh will we fight for freedom but that's not it they go back and forth uh, geez, I love yeah game. i yeah see that's a game i never gotten into oh those are great I love those. Games. I love uh, uh, those are some of my favorite open world like sandboxy games. Shit, and I have the game too, and I've never played it. Fucking Visceral Studios used to make some really awesome games. Um, the uh, shit, what was the name of that game? It was one where you were like the first game you were in uh, a South American country, and then the sequel you were in North Korea. I don't have any idea. Uh, so I'll remember later, I'm sure. And but then, uh, they were it'll open be too world. late because we don't care. Yeah, I mean, I do care. I, I would go back and play the games. Uh, but, uh, like I said, EA killed the company that made them. Yeah, EA does that a they lot. Didn't make, they didn't make all the money. They just made a lot of the money, but not all of the money. Yep. I, I hate shit like that. Like, eh, it's got to make this much. Yeah, but you still made, you know, $30 billion off of something. Like, fuck, why you got to do that? 
Yeah. Know. Really fucking frustrating, man. <clears throat> well, my throat will not clear today. I just want to die. But that cutting him. Hey, you know what? It wasn't official. I don't know what company made it. Then I'll have to look later. What are we talking about? Just call. I was. I thought it was Visceral who made the the game I was thinking of, but it's not Visceral. Oh okay. Um, they made the Lord of the Rings games, which were good. Uh, they made Dead Space. That's why I thought of them. They made Dead Space and Dead Space Two, and then they made Dead Space Three. Didn't make all of the money, and it's pretty much the end of them. It happens. It happens a lot. Yeah. Oh yeah. They made the Army of Two games too. Oh really? Back when the uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know if you ever played those back when every game had to be co-op. Uh, the Army of Two games were some of the ones that actually did it pretty well. Uh, yeah, Army of Two. I mean, no, I never played it. Um, you know, I never. I don't know. If it just wasn't something that uh, was up my alley, really. <clears throat> it looked interesting, though. Yeah, I. Uh, I know. Back when I lived in Michigan, uh, I, I didn't originally didn't play the game, but one of my friends talked about how good it was, and then uh, I finally. I don't know if I. I think I rented it or something. Right. Um. And then just played the fucking shit out of it. Like, we played hour, every day. We were playing hours and hours of that game. Because uh, they had a really cool, like, a weapon upgrade system. That, right. It was just fun. I miss that. Miss those, miss those old games. But they're dead now. Because EA kills all things that are good. Yep. Imagine if EA was your internet service provider. Oh, my God. I mean, I, 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 that's like having Comcast. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I still think that... No, I think it would be worse than having Comcast. <clears throat> yeah, no, I, don't I, I know really what, do. I think... I hate... I, I dislike more... It, it's... I go back and forth. EA or Warner Brothers? Which one is more evil in the industry? Because they're both <laughs> fucking awful. I don't know. I mean, I, I, I don't know of any stories where Warner Brothers buys studios and then just kills them off. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. Like, that's... Uh, I think what gives EA the the like nod of being like the one of the most like shitty video game co companies yeah i don't know that's, that's what it was mercenaries that was the game i was trying to think of i have no idea mercenaries what you're talking about mercenaries too um they were open world uh like i said they're open world military shooters uh that were like i don't know if the same people made them as made um i don't think it's the same company that made the uh far or just cause series but they're very very similar like right. you have a grappling hook that you can uh like take over helicopters and tanks and shit with right That's mercenaries funny. didn't go to the same insane level that just caused it but i think it was a matter of time like the next game they probably would have <laughs> right I'm oh sure man. It was ea developer pandemic Pandemic. That's who I was trying to think of. Right, yeah. Pandemic Studios. They were a great studio. They made some good shit, yeah, yeah for sure. 2009 was when EA killed them. God damn, man. That's rough. Mm -hmm. yeah. They made the Mercenaries games, which were fucking great. There was a fucking third Mercenaries game. Was there? Uh, yep, Mercenaries 3 No Limits uh, that was supposed to come out that got canceled. Oh, that sucks. They are supposed to make a, se a sequel to the Saboteur as well. I never played that, though. Mm. But Jesus, man. Bastards. <laughs> you sons of bitches. I mean, we should oh, expect they made that. Destroy All Humans. Did you ever play Destroy All Humans? Nope, never played that either. Okay. I'm sorry, no. man. Never played any of these no, games. That's so good. They also made Star Wars Battlefront and Battlefront 2. The, the good so, ones. Yep. The OG ones. Not this fucking... Not the one that EA... <laughs> fucked by having no content at launch and then the one they fucked by having nothing but loot boxes and money fucking grubbing bullshit that now they're just not gonna send, put out content for right and you know is, um you know what's interesting did you see that saints row the third is being released on nintendo switch yeah i did hear about that yeah and it's gonna apparently include all dlc yeah uh that's actually pretty cool like, I like the Sanctuary series a lot. Again, another sandbox. I, I really play a lot of sandbox games, I realize. Uh, yeah, I like, I really like that series. I kind of wish they had chosen to do two instead of three. Because uh, right. I never had a chance to beat two. But three was still fun. I mean, three is where they went off the rails, though, right? Yeah, two was when it was still semi, like, it, it was, it was very, it was still very close to GTA. 
Yeah. Um, in that they, you still were a gangster. You were still like in kind of a reality. It was still had a lot of crazy shit. Like they had missions where you drove a shit truck and sprayed shit all over your enemies. Jesus um, Christ. But, but they didn't have like the game show of murder time, fun time. Right. Yeah. <laughs> they, uh, yeah. until that was the, or maybe they, maybe they'd had something like that, but it wasn't as crazy. The third one is when it went completely off the rails. Right. And then four is when they went, fuck it, superpowers. You're literally jumping around the, uh, the freaking thing and throwing yeah, lightning yeah. and shit and you're, shooting you're now aliens. jumping over buildings. <laughs> yeah, and fighting aliens. Just like I said, still cool. Yeah. Uh, part of the problem with the third game, I think, is that they had some things to do in the world, but there was nothing like, it was like, it was all like, oh, get in a helicopter and shoot missiles at bad guys or get in a tank and shoot things at bad guys or see how many cars you can destroy in 10 minutes it wasn't uh, it wasn't anything that felt like the world was alive it all felt like almost cartoony which isn't necessarily a bad thing i had a lot of fun with the game but um if the second game was the, was one i'd really like like to beat for the story right see i i i've never played any of the santro games um because like mm-hmm. you said they started off as gta clones and yeah more and, gangster than yeah. GTA clones, but I mean, you could say they copied GTA uh, San Andreas. Yeah, and uh, but but I do. I was made aware with three where it started going way. It, it got less GTA and more like what? Wow, that you can beat somebody with a big purple with dildo, a giant purple dildo bat, um, like called the Penetrator. Two, yeah, in two you could walk around dressed as a pimp with a pimp cane shotgun. Um, <laughs> okay, that's kind of like, cool. Like you said, in three, you've got a giant dildo bat. <laughs> yeah, dildo bat wins every time. I think uh, I know a yeah. couple of our listeners that would appreciate that. Yeah, giant purple dildo bat. Yeah, uh, and plus, like there were there were crazy weapons. Like I, I think in the third one, they had a shark gun. Uh, it might have been DLC, but by now, if you buy the game, it all comes with it anyway. But uh, you shot it at someone, and a shark would pop out, go underground, and then like. Sh- come up from underground and eat them right like yeah they had a lot of crazy shit in three uh but three was the game i still remember the development or or like not the development the um press leading up to it the e whatever e3 it was yeah the they were talking to i think adam sessler who it was one of those years where he looked like he was just on doing like on like nothing all the cocaine and coke yeah all the the cocaine alive yeah um, cause it's like an E3, like 48 hours of endless coverage and, uh, they're talking to him and they're talking about the fact that they're like, yeah, one thing that we've gotten a lot of feedback on is these, oh, you know, these open world games, the sandbox games, you always start small and you have to build up and only by the end of the game, do you have all the awesome gear? And they're like, with this game, we wanted there to be a build up, but at the same time, we want you to have crazy awesome fun from the beginning so we said fuck it and the first like they demonstrated that the first weapon you get is a fucking airstrike that like a drone comes calls in missiles that is awesome (laughs) yeah yeah and like very early on you can get like rocket trucks and just you know crazy shit because you uh you are mega rich and i don't know it was it was fun yeah i mean it sounds like it is yeah yeah, I, I think I I don't I don't know if I'll pick it up or pick it up right away for the Switch. Like I've I've already owned it on the 360. I still own it on Steam and I've only played it a little bit. Um, and I'd probably end up playing a lot more of Diablo three than I would of that. Yeah, I think there was unless it's Diablo three I'm thinking of. I think yeah. there was something else that's coming to the Switch. Um, but I don't remember what it was. I mean, I'm sure there are. It's just um... yeah. I mean, there's always just so many things that are coming out. I don't know, Some man. people act like it's a bad thing. Switch is getting all of these, like, remasters and stuff. Right. Um, I'm completely fine with that, for the most case. Yeah, most no, part. I mean, I'm You're completely... still getting new games, too. Like, there are a lot of people but... who get upset by that. And it's like, yeah, I, I get I get what you're saying, but, like... Like I've said before, the Switch is just that it's that system for me where I get to play games I might have missed the first time around. Yeah, oh, yeah. Sec- or I'm, or it, it's it's that system where I look at a game, oh yeah, I'll play that now that it's on that system, you know. 
Yeah, on top of that, you've got um, games like you know, not only games, you know, you're giving them a second chance, but older games you can now play in uh, mobile. Yeah. And not like bullshit phone mobile, like a legit mobile platform. Yeah. Like something is, actually worth playing. Yeah. Like fucking that's the Diablo is a big one for me. I cannot wait to play that mobile or yeah, play yeah. It in general. I'm pretty I'm pretty much OK with uh, with that. Yeah. Mm hmm. I mean, I, I, I do want to give that game a shot, and now I definitely will on, on the Switch. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, I just, I, I really want to go to bed. <laughs> yeah, I don't blame you. It's been one hell of a week. I mean, oh. Yeah, it, it has been, man. Like, we, we got completely fucked this week. Oh, like, shit. Like, my I mean, entire sleep schedule is just blown up. Yeah. yeah uh, that was, like, my all-day uh wednesday my last yeah. day off yeah i just i had shit to do and i was like but i'm not doing any of it i'm going to bed <laughs> yeah yeah i need to sleep <laughs> yeah unfortunately i have like stuff that i have to plan for a D campaign and i have to do that and i'm like uh i will do it after work for the next couple days i will do it eventually oh you know what i think it was um okami i know is on the switch now that's that's been released, which is pretty interesting. I did not it's know that. That's a game that. I always that's wanted to cool. play. Yeah, that's a game I wanted to play. I missed it on the PS4, and then I never got the Wii version. Uh, so I might have to pick that one up soon. I've heard it's lots and lots of story, which I don't know if I want to sit through right now. Um, but supposedly Doom is going to be day one, like when it releases on everything else. It's going to also release on the Switch. Yeah, yeah, that's what they're saying. Which is like, yeah, I want that. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty awesome, because they haven't done that yet with a lot of games. So it's just been like, you know, the delayed or come out later type stuff. And which, to be fair, I mean, they've got, um, they do have a lot of, uh, a lot of just things to work out for the, uh, yeah, for the Switch. I mean, it, it's, it's a capable uh, system, but it's not quite as capable, obviously, as the Xbox or the PS4. So it's like, yeah, yeah. they've got some stuff to do. <laughs> yeah. I gotta imagine though it's it because it's using that uh, Android uh, processor or whatever. Yeah, it's using right? the, it's using yeah. the Tegra X one, which is yeah, the, that's uh, gotta make it fairly easy to develop for. Yeah, and no, I mean the fact that it's well documented and that Nvidia mm -hmm. is like, oh yeah, here's what you do, here's how things work. Like we're we're good. We're you know they're they're very developer friendly in that way. <laughs> yeah, which is always good. Yeah. I mean, and yeah. it, it's great that they're they're sitting there willing to work with people, and the fact that they have their own port studio called Lightworks, um, which they use to port games like Half Life and Portal and stuff to the Shield, mm -hmm. Doom Three. Oh man, this is one I know you will probably end up getting excited for. Terraria is going to come to the Switch, which I mean, is no surprise. I think any indie game. I'm. I'm much expected. It's incorrect to say that I'm going to be excited for it, but it's kind of cool. Oh, okay. It's kind of, I mean, I, it's, a, it's a cool thing. I mean, we, uh, you know, Cody and I played the fuck out of that game on PC yeah. when I was running that server for us. So, I mean, it's like, all right, that's kind of cool. Maybe I'll go back to it if it has cross platform play. Like, if I can sit yeah. there and fire up the server here on my desktop and then connect to it and do shit, that might be kind of cool. Oh, yeah, yeah, I see. I see now. I just know you had like a, 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 fucking fathomable amount of hours in that game i mean not that many and most of it was just playing was, was running the server software actually oh is that why it's so high? yeah no i mean okay. i think i've met I, uh, you actually have me curious now so i'm pulled up my steam here um i've got 200 hours in the game but okay. maybe 70 or 80 of that is playing and the rest of it's me running the server 24 7 the server yeah that's funny until i got to a point where um, I eventually did figure out that I could run the server software without, um, without actually like playing the game on Steam. So I was able to get around that and get the server running at all times. Mm -hmm. And uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, we completed the game too. Like we totally, yeah. totally beat the game, and it was pretty. It's a good game. I like it. I think it's better than Minecraft personally because you know there's actually an end game, an end goal. Yeah. Well, then, I mean, I don't know. They've added that to Minecraft now, as far as I've heard. But yeah, but I mean... I haven't yeah. played that all. It's one of those... For me, personally, it was one of those things that was uh, too little, too late. Like, because mm -hmm. oh, by the time they... Yeah, maybe. By the time they added all of that, um, 
it was like, oh, I've already burnt myself out on this game. Mm-hmm. Because, you know, we played so much of it and just built shit. Like, I built a tower of emerald blocks. Like, just solid emerald tower in the middle of a thing. And that's how you got up to these islands that I had built in the sky of just glass. Of different colored glass, too. So, it was yeah. like, I got to that point. I mined all that. I did all that. And I'm like, I don't want to play this game anymore. Fuck it. So I Honestly, I didn't like it when they added the um, survival stuff to it. I mean, the survival stuff wanted, is fine. I just wanted to dig and not be bothered. <laughs> you just want that mind-numbing, uh, like, just, yeah. just mindless digging of shit. Like, yeah, and I, I totally understand that. Like For uh, for a while, that was my, like, go-to. I'd get home and just decompress from everything, just throw on a, a uh, audiobook. And it, since I had a whole lot that I was going through, because I hadn't read any books in a long time, right. um, I would just sit there and just Minecraft where I would just be going around fucking not really, I mean, just building shit and just mining and that was it. I didn't have to worry about the stupid fucking hunger system. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the Which hunger system, me. I don't mind like the survival part, like fighting things and having the health. Um, yeah. When they added when they added the hunger thing, though, it was like, okay, this is annoying. Yeah. Because I mean, I'm yeah, like, I, I didn't mind the mobs and stuff. Specifically, like you're out of energy, you're gonna die from hunger. You're Fuck. starting to die now because you need to go eat watermelon. Fuck. Yeah. Or go uh, eat, eat cows or some shit. Played. Yeah, I had to go and kill a bunch of pigs and hope they dropped pork chops. <laughs> yeah, pork, pork chops. chops. Eat the pork chop. Eat the pork chop. In fact, if you kill a pig or a cow or a, a um, chicken with fire, like with a with a flint and stone, it, um, it would just be cooked. Yeah, they drop cooked food. And it's like yes. <laughs> took out the middleman. <clears throat> yeah, no, that way you don't have to sit there and uh, throw it in an oven. You just, just kill it with fire. Yeah. And now that is a valid strategy. Thank you, Minecraft, for, for making that valid. Yeah. I don't know, oh, man. <laughs> I, I think I'm already out of things to talk about because of how tired I am. Like I, I just, My brain does not want to work. I don't know. How long have we gone? Uh, oh, fuck. 45 minutes. Hey, that's not bad. That's not too bad at all. Yeah, I'm still I'm still going down this list of uh, Switch games, and they, it looks like there's a lot of older stuff that right. they're adding. Right. Um. Of course, not the older games that everybody wants from like the SNES and. Well, no, because uh, they're NES. saving that. They're saving that for their online thing where you got to pay them for it. Yeah, apparently. Um. But I did notice that they've got an RPG maker. Oh yeah, yeah. Which, that's kind of neat. But they, they released that on the 3DS too. Oh, they did release RPG Maker on the Yeah, 3DS. RPG okay. Maker VX or something like that. Yeah, this is MV, which uh, M is a thousand, no, 50, 55? I, I don't know. I don't remember what M is. C is a hundred. M is... L is, no, L is 50. And Roman numerals. Yeah, M is a thousand. M is a thousand. Okay, well, I, I doubt that's truly the thousandth RPG maker. But either way, they're making uh, M, uh, RPG maker MV, which now that's interesting if you can send the RPGs you make to other people. Right. Because if you can't do that, I don't see the point. I, I tell you what, right now, I want, um, I, I want Mario Maker, and I know that, like... I don't know why they haven't done that yet. Yes, like, it's a perfect platform for it. I don't even see that on this list. Yeah. Like, it, it's amazing to me, though. Like, like, dude, you have this giant, wonderful 7-inch HD touchscreen. Mario I Maker mean, is perfect for that. You put out Night Trap. Why would oh you not put God. out yeah, Night Mario Trap. Maker? Seriously, why did you let that come back? That yeah. horrible, awful thing. And why did you put it on your system? Like, why? 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 I just don't get it. I can I can bet that part of the reason they don't want to port uh, Mario Maker over to it is I don't know. Maybe they think that it will ha like um, start pulling sales from uh, the 3DS version. But like but they already more have. Likely, like yeah, the, the, more the likely. Switch I is think already Switch is already cannibalizing that a little bit. Yeah, you know, I, like, I think more they don't want to be accused of the switch just being like oh 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 it's just got the, all the games from the wii u that's the thing though that's that's our they, people have already they, made that no they're already doing that you've already done it with on it with yeah you got you got mario, mario kart. kart you've got just um, do it with mario maker 
Hyrule Warriors and shit like like yeah. you, you've already done. It. Yeah, give me Mario Maker. I want the Mario Maker. God. Yeah. I mean, it's just frustrating to me that they didn't have some way of backwards compatibility with the Wii U. Yeah. I mean, it's, which at the it's, same time I get because right. you've got discs. That's a pain in the ass, but still, it would have been cool if like the dock had like a, a Wii U uh, thing. Just a DVD drive, really. That's all they'd need. Yeah. I, I don't know, yeah. man. That'd be kind of neat. Just, yeah. Because there's games that I would like to play on there that I just I own for the Wii U. I just never played. Yeah. Like the Wind Waker and the Twilight Princess remake. I mean, you know, yeah. Like, I, I would love Twilight Princess on there again. Like, I, I, need to, I need to complete that game. Like, I never have, yeah. and it bothers me. And I can't quite play it on my shield yet because Dolphin is still in, in development. So it's like... <laughs> I, I just want it. I want the thing, man. Yeah, it doesn't. It's not great. <laughs> yeah, but that's okay. You know, I, I that, that's another thing. Like, I just haven't played my Switch either. I think I mm-hmm. fired it up um, a couple days ago to make sure it was still working. <laughs> <laughs> just you're alive. Okay, yeah. All I started right, playing cool. uh, Odyssey a little bit. Like when I was when I wasn't playing um, fucking Deus Ex, I mm-hmm. I flipped on Odyssey. Oh my god, that. That should be, like, the game of year for, like, the next five years. Mm. Odyssey deserves all of the rewards. It's insanely fun. Right. It's insanely pleasurable to play that. I finally beat New Dog City. Like, I finished it. And that's just... It's just such a, a fucking great video game moment. That whole song and, like... Ah! Uh, that game's awesome. Right. Yeah, no, it, it is. I need to get into it more. I need to get back into it. Did you see that the Switch out- outsold the PS4 and the Xbox One X and S um, last month? Yeah, yeah, I did see that. Forge reported <laughs> in, in that in the United uh, States as well. It, it, yeah, it absolutely owned in, uh, in last month. It's like yes, yeah. it owned it owned here, and it is unrelentingly dominant in Japan. Yeah, no, I mean that. Which like, Japan is, me. yeah, no, Japan's all about their portable systems, man. Yeah, oh, like, yeah. They they're all about on the go. They love. Yeah, they're all yeah. about on the go and shit. Like completely, one hundred percent. Like that. That's where one of the biggest uh, markets are for mobile games, like cell phone games and shit, is in Japan. Yep. I gotta imagine they must be just getting better ones than we do. Probably, because mm-hmm. we just get that fucking. We get Candy Crush. Hate to play bullshit. Candy Crush is you like get, Candy Crush is the good example of the games, and that's sad. We get a lot of wait to play games too. Yep. Like, um, like pay to what, wait. <laughs> yeah, pay to wait and wait to play and and pay to wait to play to pay. I don't know. It's yeah. just it's just so. Just give us stupid. your fucking money. Basically, if you just came out and said, "Hey, give us your money and we'll let you play the game," like I think I would be better with that than this 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 freemium bullshit that that so many games like to play. And not even not even play the game, but just watch the timer that you've clicked go by faster. Or vanish in some instances, but yeah, yeah like, that's or just vanish. But usually, it, but there are games like that. Harry Potter game is essentially a visual novel, yeah. where you have to pay money to get like ah, uh, just the, the fucking gall. Oh, fuck, that's some Warner Brothers bullshit. Yeah, I hate them. I hate them, Joe. I, I do too, get back man. On that ranty soapbox, but I hate them so much. Oh man, I'm right there with you. It, it's just whatever. <laughs> Yeah, oh, that's the industry we live in. <clears throat> you know what I want? Give me Borderlands 2 on the Switch. You made it happen on the Vita? Give it to me on the Switch. You know, I like I I I feel it at the same time I don't because I'm just so done with that game. <laughs> right. I, I, I I'm not much. See, I, I'm not yet. Like I don't know what yeah. the hell it is, but I still love Borderlands. I I really do. Yeah. I mean, it's a great series. It's a great game. I just, I just played so much. We just yeah, we, we have played so much. Like like you've yeah. played a thousand hours before you even played it with me, and then we played another like two hundred of it. Yeah, and that's not even including the Xbox hours I put into it. Right, it's just both solo and co op stuff. I, it's just one of those things that I find it hard to get tired of, and I don't know I don't mm-hmm. know how or why. Because I I I mean you know three hundred and forty four hours would have logged on it. It's like why <laughs> yeah why i mean what? it's like i said i did too it was it's fun yeah it is good i don't know man. Uh, i want i hope borderlands 3 lives up to that that like standard yeah yeah at least be 
at least be partially as good as uh, uh yeah at least be half as good as two how about that let's let's go for that like i want, I want a co-op shooter and i feel bad that we didn't like get into into what um, you cut out no, oh, I said I, I'd like to start. Like, I wish we had played a co-op shooter recently. Yeah, like Vermintide, Vermintide Two. That, like, we both own Vermintide and played it like twice, and then just never picked it back up. I um, mean, well, we also kind of suffer from this 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 uh, scheduling snafu where we don't have that kind of time together. Yeah, and like the, and the one times day we could are when sleep is yeah more desirable. I mean, yeah, I don't have the benefit of being able to be up till one or two in the afternoon. Like, I got to get to bed early because I take the bus because I'm a fucking pleb. Yeah. So it's like, oh, man. <clears throat> but, dude, if I could totally. Like, hey, I got a couple hours. Oh, wait. No, I don't. And yeah, no, if I could totally, like, like if I couldn't, if I was in a situation where I didn't have to leave for work until, like, 930, like, I yeah. would be completely fine with staying up till 1 or 2 in the afternoon and playing video games and then going to sleep, waking up around 8 and doing whatever. Mm-hmm. But I can't do that. I just can't do it. It so sucks. Frustrating. All right, guys. We're going to go ahead and wind yeah. it down there because I'm sorry. I'm just tired this week. Yeah. There's one other thing I wanted to just mention yeah. that is on its way. Um, so, a bit of, like, advertising... Uh, just tat that uh, Bethesda is putting out for Fallout. Um, they're going to release uh, Nuka Cola Black Rum. Oh, that's awesome! Yeah, uh, it's like a special limited release rum that they're gonna sell. Uh, that you can, I think it's uh, Nuka Black or Nuka Cola Black. If you go dot com, go on there. You can sign up to possibly get the chance to buy it. I know oh. I did. Put in my email address. I hate. <laughs> I hate. I, I was like, I will spend a hundred bucks on this. I don't care. I hate for you only get the possibility of the chance to buy it. I'm guessing because they said it's it. It sounds like it's going to be super limited, but who knows? Maybe yeah. it's maybe it'll be more available than I th- than I'm assuming. But yeah, I was like, this is the kind of dumb shit I'll buy. <laughs> yeah, no, like like give give us more of this kind of dumb shit. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. So yeah, if you're interested in some uh, Fallout themed alcohol, <laughs> go get it. Go get it. All right. And if you're interested in hearing more of us talking about random and name shit, go to our website, Ungodly Geeks, and listen to our huge backlog of, of episodes. If you're someone who just joined us here for episode 65, which is what this is going to yep, be, yep. Uh, we got tons of good shit out there. And uh, we're it's working on another series called Crit episode. Fail, where uh, we, we do a D&D session. And uh, yeah. I mean, I'm working on that too. You know, that'll be uh, we'll be releasing Hopefully episode two this this week, so or this awesome. upcoming week. Yeah, and still, like we say every week, check us out on iTunes. Give us some reviews. Yeah, uh, wherever you check it out, spread it, tweet it, share it on Facebook, <laughs> post it to Instagram if you want to for some reason. Yeah, whatever. We don't care. We're whatever flexible. Word up. You want to use our logo and say, "Hey, look, these guys do a thing. Go for it." <laughs> this is <laughs> legally binding. <laughs> <laughs> you know I, right, I guys i've thought about um sitting there and submitting the logo and shit to uh mm-hmm. like capital one see if i can get it put on my capital one card and <laughs> like if, if i if i uh, the interesting thing is if, if i try this and it gets rejected because it's a copyrighted image what do i do because i own the copyright on that image yeah you know like i, I created it it's it's uh, i'm okay to put it on there do i send them a letter with my name and signature and certification that i created and owned it and saying yes i can have it on my own card i i would i mean i know people do that for their own copyrights so i would assume that's just that's what you do it's just a random stupid thought that i doubt has any actual merit just wanted Mm -hmm. to throw it out there all right guys for the ungodly geeks i was joe i'm luke you guys have a good day See y'all later. Mm.